Unlike the four essentials, the five W's have a little more flexibility in order of importance. What are the five W's? Well, the five W's are a way of putting together five priorities that you would use to keep in mind when going into a camping situation or a bug out situation or a survival situation, whether it's leisurely or an emergency. I want to talk about the five W's of a base camp or bug out spot. And we want to note firsthand that the five W's deal with the four essentials, the four essentials of life. And that is shelter, water, rest, and food in that order. Okay, first W, weather. Weather deals with shelter. Your climate, the area of the world you're in, the time of year, and the day itself is going to determine what kind of shelter you have, what kind of shelter you build, what kind of clothes you wear. <clears throat> the W, the first W, weather goes hand in hand with the first essential, that's shelter. Very important to note. Today's a fair day. It's uh, 80 some degrees, fairly dry. It's very sunny. My priority with shelter today is get out of the sun protect myself a little bit from the wind and if there's a pop-up thunderstorm I'm covered so my first W and my first essential is covered right here the second W is water it is also the second essential water is necessary for life you need to camp somewhere near water now I measured my paces I'm 75 paces from water now this is very important you have to have water you're either going to carry it into your bug out spot or you need a means to collect it the best bet is to be near it, but not too near it. If you're too close to water that contains crocodiles, alligators, predators that come to drink, you have problems. Also, flash flooding. Just like in Arkansas, if you're too close to water, be it a stream, a river, whatever, flooding kills. Make sure you have some distance away from water. Another note, where there's water, there's biting insects. So a little bit of space between you and water, but you want water somewhere nearby. Now I'm well covered with the second W and the second essential. For my third W, I'm going to call it wood. And wood serves a lot of purposes. You can build shelter, you can make tools, you can make fire, you can find food. Basically, it touches on many of the essentials. You're touching on shelter, rest, and food. So wood is the third W. The fourth W is Widowmakers. When you set up camp, always be sure that you are safe from falling trees or falling branches. Safety, safety, safety is the fourth W. Widowmakers. One more thing with the fourth W, if you're in hilly or rocky regions, Stay away from hillsides that have boulders that might roll down on your camp. Stay away from rocky ledges that might drop trees or rock pieces. Uh, stay away from water areas that are going to flood. And also, one more thing, don't park your butt under the biggest tree in the area because you don't want to be under a lightning rod. The fifth W is whittlings. If at all possible, pick an area that doesn't have a lot of clutter or places that insects critters, poisonous stinging, what have you, can hide, okay? If you can't find a clear spot, clear a spot and check it thoroughly to make sure there's nothing hiding that's going to harm you. And having this blue tarp really helps me out because I can see things like ticks that are trying to find me. I hope that this video on the five W's has been helpful. Remember, it's weather, water, wood, widowmakers, and whittlings. And they go hand in hand with the four essentials. That's shelter, water, rest, and food. If you have any comments, feel free. If you have any questions, I can always contact the 8-Ball.